Hey everyone, today I'm going to review Dan Brown's Inferno. Actually, I've read four of his novels. This is my fourth, fifth novel of his. I've read uh, Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and so today I thought I will just review this one. Uh, you know, let's start from the beginning. Uh, like any good thriller, this starts with a scene which which makes the reader curious to go on with and uh, Dan Brown does it brilliantly here the beginning is awesome and it's like the beginning is so important that once you read you'll realize what's all about sometimes you can't understand what is he talking about in the first prologue but as it goes on you can understand it and so the beginning is worthwhile as any good thriller will do it does it brilliantly and then let's talk about narration but uh, yes obviously from reading all his other books the narration has improved here he's worked on his prose but uh, as you know a thriller should propel the reader to read on so it can't be too much of descriptions the action should go on and he does that brilliantly with his novel and about characters like all the other novels here is a psychic, we can't say it's a psychic, intellectual companion, I suppose. There's always a woman beside him, like uh, here we have Sian Brooks. She has the same intelligence and she is one of the prodigies and she helps him solve the problem. But she has a major role to play in the plot. And, uh, and it's kind of funny that all these women characters tend to fall in love with them. And the same thing happens here, even Brooks things she should be uh, I mean she should love Robert it's like the characters are wonderful even uh, the villain character is really built up we can't tell he's a villain actually he's trying to save the world but in a very uh, diabolical way he does that and then uh, structure of course he uses montage like all the other novels uh, he uses montage that is the, uh, the scenes shift first chapter is a scene and then it goes to another part of the world and he builds it in such a way that people are kept curious and the uh, incidents evolve in different places and finally they come and meet uh, any good thriller will do that it's written in montage like any good thriller film also and then we have the style it's plain uh, it's simple and it's really uh, easy for the reader to read it and quickly they can finish it up. But the thing about this novel is the beginning Robert comes here and all the other novels he knows what is he doing, he is middle of something but here he has no clue what's happening whatsoever. He feels that he's lost, uh, he doesn't even know who's plotting all this, that makes it more interesting. Dan Brown does a wonderful job with that uh, and the ending of course it's open-ended ending like not like his other novels it doesn't give a clear-cut uh, ending he leaves it to the reader as such uh, there is no denouncement but that's probably because of the theme that he's talking about in the novel it talks about like overpopulation and how it can ruin our society and uh, that kind of stuff so there are big questions he deals with big questions here and he leaves it to the reader and Robert can't do anything about it as far as this novel is concerned so I think it's a wonderful read uh, so on a scale of five I would give four so read it happy reading thank you